So yeah, so I'm gonna play a bunch of my music um, spanning uh, many years. And this one here is an old song of mine, uh, very old actually, probably, um, man, what's it, 2020? So maybe going back 15 years now, um, maybe longer actually, but it's, it's an old one, but I still play it. It's on the very first um, recording I did with my friend Dan Tressler, uh, actually when I was in college. Uh, so right around the time I was at Fairfield University. And uh, it was on the first album we did together. It's called Boxcar Train. <laughs> Something very old that was, that's Boxcar Train from the very first String Fingers album titled Strung Up, which is still available on 
the internet and I actually have a stack of CDs still left over there from that album as well. Which, if memory serves me correct, came out. Um, let me think here for a minute. Um, I think it was 2006, maybe? 2006, we'll say that. But a lot of the songs were recorded with like a year or two prior. So, something really old and something pretty new. I'll do something pretty new for you here. Uh, my current band, uh, Hitch and the Giddy Up www.hitchandthegiddyup.com. Um, that's where you can find out about the band. Uh, we, we put out a new album uh, under quarantine this year, and we actually started it before COVID uh, in like January, February, and then um, finished it kind of piecemeal uh, in the next few. Look at that, John Whaley. He's got the, got the text rolling right there. Um, we finished it uh, over the next few months, kind of piecemeal together. Anyway, let's talk. We're playing it, soon, shall we? This is a song called Traveler. I traveled on these roads, Pacific Coast to the Alamo. Seen the sun come up in Dixie. Stinging go low when we left. Stood on top of the Rocky Mountain, left the sands popping. Fell in love in West Virginia, and got divorced in Mexico. Been a road weaver, gypsy. Stories I could tell, things that I have seen. It said that if these walls could talk, they would have so much to say. Still, I took away. Since I was 
Yeah, that's the traveler there. I should mention that the name of the new album, Pitch in the Giddy Up, uh, is called Another Gig in the Bag. Mm. I actually happen to have a copy of it right here. Hang on. Oops, maybe not. No, just kidding. Haha. Uh -huh. I do not. But anyway, uh, Another Gig in the Bag, that's Traveler. It's uh, from the newest album. Uh, we'll do some bouncing around. We'll do some. Uh, we'll do some stuff kind of in the middle. Stuff that maybe uh, is not super old, but not super new either. Um, we'll go to the second String Fingers album. So um, my partner Dan and I, uh, at the time we did, um, we did our first album all together. And um, it was just us playing basically everything. We had, um, I think, a drummer come in and do some drumming on one track. But otherwise, it was just him and I playing all the instruments. And as fun and as exciting as that was, it was not something that we wanted to keep doing. We wanted to have a band. So for our second album, we got a band together, started playing shows as a band. And, um, I think it worked out a lot better. Anyway, this is from our second album, which is called Don't Forget. And uh, it's called Writing on the Wall. I should have seen it coming. There were signs they see. I'd even got a warning. What more did I need? I just kept on moving along and riding the way to free. Now I see the riding on the wall. Have I done to deserve such a thing? Don't it all work out somehow? Daylight's fading, now I must fly. Be the riding on. I tried my best to hide it so no one else could see. But sometimes things reveal themselves in certain company. This talk is cheap, words will fail, and now it's plain to see. You put the riding on. Have I done to deserve such a fate? Don't it all work out how time? Daylight's fading, now I must be the right and all. Riding on the 
All right. That is the writing on the wall. Written, well, pretty long ago. I didn't have children. I wasn't married. I have children. I have a wife. Very happily married. And uh, I'm in my basement right now because my kids are upstairs probably eating dinner. And uh, if my son were down here, he would be terrorizing every instrument, including this guitar. Um, he is music obsessed, <laughs> which is putting it uh, mildly, but he is wonderful and uh, but very, very intense and very interested in music. Um, my wife Tracy is also a musician, so he gets it from both sides. Uh, my daughter is also learning piano, my old oldest, and she's doing great with it. So it's nice to see the kids so interested in music, um, just like their mom and dad. Um, anyway, I'm just here doing this for Fairfield View. I don't even know if anybody's going to ever watch it, but it's nice to be asked to do something, especially when um, there aren't a lot of gigs. John Whaley, I know you're watching, bud. <laughs> I'm glad you're watching. Um, but it's just nice to do something when there's not a lot of gigs. Um, I'm getting used to talking to screens. I think we all are now, so um, it kind of feels like I'm connected to something, even though I can't really nobody here and um you know i can't really <laughs> it's not the same you know? all right what the hell am i gonna play oh i know what i'm gonna play oh thanks janet we appreciate uh, this very much well i appreciate you asking me to do this so um it's super cool that you asked I want to play a song, actually, uh, also from the String Fingers era. So there's the String Fingers era, which is kind of like the, I don't want to, it wasn't the first band I was in. I was in bands and going back to high school, but um, it was like the first serious band. We did a lot of uh, touring and we played some festivals and we were out there trying to, you know, to make it. And uh, so that's from the String Fingers era. and then. Um, Damn kids, yeah. <laughs> um, and then there's sort of a in-between era where I kind of string fingers things stopped and then Hitching the Giddy Up happened after, which is my current band. And in between, I made an album um, with my own music, just stuff that I had kicking around and I had all my friends doing play. It was great fun. So I'll do a couple from that album too, uh, which I definitely have copies of. I can show you guys the artwork and stuff. Um, but this one is one from the last String Fingers album, um, which um, was really just an EP, it was five songs, and uh, the five of my probably favorite songs that we ever did, uh, including this one, which has a little bit of a Celtic Irish kind of thing going on, but it's a protest song, and um, I wrote it a long time ago, and it, it's the funny thing about those protest songs is that they, they somehow still feel relevant in any era. And I just thought this one would be a good one to play tonight. So this is called Changing of the Guard. Oh yeah. Let me just do this real quick. For those playing along at home, that's a capo. Passage of time and memory go by. Life slips away as I meant. Quit me forget. There's no better time than here. Soldier, it said, is one step from death. No different. You are from me. Each battle is won with fistfuls of guns and fought by the power of greed. I don't want to be late. This time around, 
Cause wherever to be found from the changing of the guard. Power it said, go to your head and leave you with nothing instead. Fear not the grave that will bear you now and stand up for what you believe. Choices are made, so don't be a slave to the empire's own crooked fist. Raise up your hands, take back a deep, or cease from yourself to exist. Don't want to be late. This time around, cause we're never too far from the changing of the ground. Each love that is made can surely be Lucifer's den down the road. The cycle of blood must be undone. It's time for the dues to be paid. So judge not the man who wanders the land. Search of answers unknown. Instead, heed the call. And beckon to solve and fight for place we call home. Don't wanna be late this time around, cause we're never too far from the changing of the time. Yes, we're from the changing yes we're never too far from the changing of the guard um, great Steely Dan song also completely different um, changing of the guard excuse me a second So here is the the album from for changing of the guard here. This is the String Fingers Band. Don't knock the hoe down, um, and that's a real picture that we used um, from my partner Dan's band, um, his family band, I should say. Um, uh, his mom and dad were musicians, and they used to have these great barn parties at their house, and like hoot nannies, and you know musicians would come and. Um, people would just come and hang out and play and party and it was just a great great thing and this picture from the 70s um, you can actually see Dan's dad there with the hat and um, yeah this is from I think teen magazine or 17 magazine in the 1970s they came and did a photo shoot at the barn and it was just hanging up in the barn and we were rehearsing and hanging out there and um, we were like oh that's really cool we should we should put that on the album cover so we did um, changing of the guard. Don't knock the hoe down. There you go. All right, so let's do one from uh, from my solo album, which is also over here, actually. Hang on one second. Let's 
so this is you can see that this is the solo album i did um my friend maya my really wonderfully beautifully talented awesome friend maya did this really cool album cover uh it's called rebirth and uh it was definitely a lot of the songs were written during a time where i was definitely feeling like a uh, rejuvenation and uh so i had her do this cover with all these different um kind of elements of rain and the kind of a little bit seasonal with the leaves falling and the kind of the green growth here and it's the rose obviously in the middle which was my daughter's middle name um and there's a song on here about her as well it's the last song another waltz actually um but this is available i have vinyl records of this available it's also available online you can stream it um www.dancarlucci.net. I haven't updated my website much since COVID hit, um, but it's out there and you can contact me through there if you'd like. So let's see, what should we play off this, this album here? Oh, I know what I'm gonna play. Okay. Um, so 2020 has been a taxing year for everybody. Um, and right at the end of last year, um, a good friend of mine passed away um, by the name of Dave Hogan, David Hogan. Dave was a um, musician and a kind of a mainstay on the Connecticut music scene. He was a terrific songwriter. He was a terrific guitar player. Um, he was a very unique person to, to talk to. He had really unique opinions. and. But he was really a great guy, and um, I just loved hanging out with him and talking to him. I learned a lot from him. Um, towards the end of Dave's life, the last few years, um, one of his passions, which I also share, uh, was he wanted to do radio um, DJing, disc jockeying, and play his favorite albums and songs on the radio. And he did that on WPKN 89.5. And uh, he would have me on the show. I'd play in studio. We'd talk about new albums that I was working on. He was always very encouraging and was a really great guy. And um, I have to run to another event. Colleen, thanks for checking it out. Appreciate that. Um, he was a really good, great guy, and I miss him a lot. And, um, and um, anyway, the, when I was looking at the back of this, this cover here, I saw one of the songs on there that reminds me of Dave because he used to play it on his radio show. So I, you know, he was giving me free air time. I mean, not that, not that a lot of people were ever really listening, but I always thought it was really cool that, that Dave supported local music. And that's the big thing about Dave um, that I, I should really mention is that Dave was a master musician, master writer, but Dave was a huge ambassador for local music. And it's so important to, to, Kind of hold each other up and be there and support each other and it's not just music obviously it's it's you know your friend's restaurant or um you know an, a visual artist or any anybody who's who who you know and has been affected by this pandemic and the situation that we're living in um you gotta you know you gotta put those people up and dave it's, it's almost as if dave knew 2020 was gonna suck and he bailed right at the end of 2019 is when he passed um but i miss him a lot and this song reminds me of him, and I wrote it when I was living in Black Rock in Bridgeport, um, just before my now wife Tracy and I got married. And there was a blizzard, and we were locked inside then too, and out came this song. It's called Searching for the Song. Seems. But an arrow, it 
bitch poet town. Bring it down. Can't stay stuck inside these city walls. Well, it's my fault. It's yours too. But we just can't keep pretending. Every story has an ending. This one too. I'm still searching for something Left it far, some corner of my mind I've been looking far too long, it seems But I've been there all Can't rely on the government they will only drag you down Sing on the road So step outside Look to the sky Find yourself along the coastline Rearrange and ride your own lives to the top Searching for the song. Let me get some water here. I'm searching for some water. Apologies in advance. If you can hear my children upstairs being loud and childlike. Um, that is what they do. <laughs> um, let's see here. Let's do... So we've done some from the string finger. We haven't done any from the second. Oh, I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. Okay. So, um, Hitch and the Giddy Up, back to Hitch and the Giddy Up. Uh, Hitch and the Giddy Up has recorded three albums. Um, they're all available online on the interwebs. Uh, I have them as well. You can email me, dan, D-A-N dot Carlucci, C-A-R-L-U-C-C-I at gmail.com. Um, and I can get you those if you're interested. Um, so we did three albums. The second one, we recorded, um, we recorded that one up at a studio called The Power Station up in uh, Waterford, Connecticut. And uh, it's kind of near Groton, like where the, um, the Navy, you know, ships are and stuff, or submarines and stuff. And, um, excuse me, and uh, we got to work with one of our friends who's actually a really incredible engineer. He's a Grammy-winning uh, engineer and a phenomenal musician himself. And he actually was like, hey, I get to do this once a year. I can get some extra studio time. And, you know, I'd love it if you guys would come record with me. And we, we went up there, and it was a great thrill. Uh, and one of the things that we've done on all of our albums is we have um, recorded one of our, our good friend's songs. Um, his name is Rico Cass, 
and uh, we've recorded one of his songs on all of our three albums. Um, we're talking about doing an album of all his music. He's a great writer and a great friend. And uh, we kind of take the songs that, that he wrote and we kind of, you know, arrange them a little bit and kind of make them our own, if you will. And uh, I'm going to do one of those for you. This is from the second album. Uh, it was originally written kind of slow and um, uh, very folky, folk influenced and, you know, uh, folk informed. And I, I heard, I heard it and I thought, well, this could kind of be a, a bluegrass tune as well. You know, we could pick up the tempo and we could kind of drive it a little bit more. And, uh, and I think it worked. So we'll see what happens. Uh, this is called Ring of Flowers. Open up the bill cut down the cellar and stairs. This cluttered mess, I must confess, I've had for many years. Over in the corner, behind the Goodyear tires, I'll tell you all the story about that dried up ring of flowers. Ricky never knew his daddy, his mom was such a flirt. When his little brother play was born, she died while giving birth. She took out job spring thing, went on to drive a truck. Jack knifed and he lost his license, and that was just his luck. Ricky put mom's bill off, but he learned Clay had a job. You gotta use the mirrors if you want to stay alive. They were missing church on Sunday, went around without their shoes. Stayed up too late on Saturdays, cause the radio they blew. Clay grew up a tough kid. Might you just to prove it? Bought a tattoo with his weekly wage, paid twice that to remove it. He wore leather boots with cut off jeans. The cat said, John Deere. Kept a pack of smoke cold in his sleeve. One behind the spear. He went across with the law, but he let Clay have a child. You gotta use a mirror if you want to stay alive. He took him to an end. I told him how to shift and steer. They would work the gas clutch while Ricky worked the gears. Clay took quick to drive. And he wrapped himself in steel. Got so you couldn't pry his fingers from the wheel. Started hanging out at a racetrack, fixing up old cars. Ricky ran Clay's pit and hung around his balls. They once told his brother, Rick, I was born to win. Mama died to give me life. I wasted it to sin. I dream at night and see my car. By that checkered flag, there may the be happy whoever dared to drag.
cheery little number, ain't it? The Ring of Flowers. Yeah, when I heard that one, I was like, well, we're obviously recording that. So if you want to hear the full band version of it, check out hitchinthegiddyup.com. That'll redirect you to uh, places to purchase the second album, which is easily and uh, appropriately titled Two. Two! Um, so you can check out Two and Ring of Flowers with the whole band um, arrangement. All right. Let's do another newish one. Oh, I know which one we'll do. Got a couple more new ones here. How are we doing on time? Let's take a gander at the clock here. Oh, okay, 6.11. So we'll do maybe two, three more, and then we'll, we'll call it a day here, folks. But uh, thanks for checking it out. Thanks to Fairfield U for asking me to do a stag set. Um, when I was talking to Lindsay the other day, it was funny because um, she was like, oh, are you still in Colorado? And I was like, no, I know. <laughs> I, I've actually never, I, I lived there for one summer um, in 2001, which actually predates me graduating from Fairfield. <laughs> um, but my, my mother actually moved out there um, shortly after I got married in 2012. And um, my sister had been going to college in Fort Collins. So she's out there. So somehow Fairfield U thinks I live in Colorado. So we, we straightened all that out. But anyway, enough about that. So this one's new, new kind of ish. Um, I, I, I wrote it a while ago, probably about th three or four years ago. And hasn't been recorded. Uh, we've started playing it, Hitching the Giddy Up. We were doing some summer gigs outside. We had some gigs outside. We started playing it a little bit. Um, it might be one that we'll put on the new album that we're talking about making. Um, but right now, it's just just brand new. It doesn't even have a really a formal name yet, um, even though it was written a long time ago. The thing about songwriting is that, you know, sometimes you get a burst and everything comes all at once. You got your lyrics and you got your music and away you go. And then other times it's, you have an idea for a melody and you write that down or you record that melody on your phone and come back to it. Or you have an idea for a song title or a lyric for a title or whatever. And you, and you jot it down and you come back to it. So this is one of them. This is uh, tentatively uh, titled the devil, devil blues, actually. The devil blues. Your hand, 
lose his land. Shook your hand, shook your hand. Said the devil that shakes your hand, lose his land. <laughs> So there's some kind of brand newish, not recorded yet. Something that I'm kicking around. Um, calling it the Devil Blues for now. We'll see how it how it goes, how it turns out. So stay tuned. All right, let's do one more, and we'll call it a day. Um, I'm gonna go back to go back to the beat. Well, not to the beginning, but I'm gonna go back to. The very first String Fingers album. So I was talking before about certain songs coming one full blast and you just sit down and the music comes out, lyrics come out, and it's done. And this is one of those songs. And I remember I was living, this was right after college, Fairfield University. Again, shout outs for Fairfield University. This was right after college. It was the first place I was living after I graduated. I was in Stanford, Connecticut. <laughs> which is also my hometown. Um, but I moved back to Stanford and I was living with three of my roommates, um, all Fairfield U grads, and we had a house. And we had this ridiculous sleeper couch that weighed uh, so much that I remember we had to move it in. It was like backbreaking labor. It was one of those old uh, you know, recliners and stuff and the couch. and it was a, But anyway, I wrote this song on that couch. Um, it was a rainy day. Uh, I wrote it on a yellow um, notepad. And um, I don't really know where it came from, you know. Sometimes songs just come out of nowhere. But it still remains uh, among people that actually know my music, which, <laughs> let's be fair, is not a lot. Um, but um, from the people who do know me and stuff, I get asked to play this one a lot. Um, and uh, it also holds a special place in my heart because um, some of my dear friends took one of the lyrics from the song and they they put it, they had it painted or uh, on their on their walls in their house. So it's like one of the lyrics when you walk in, it's, it's over the archway to their house, um, just inside the, the back door. And I saw it one day, I was like, hey, uh, hey, I know what that is. <laughs> so anyway, that's enough talk. Thanks to Lindsay and Fairfield View for, for doing these and for giving, uh, giving back to the, to the university. Um, and um, I, oh, thanks, Jessica. Um, I, I appreciate 
opportunity to um, to just play. And like I said, even though nobody's physically here with me, it's nice to know every time I see a little message there that people are checking it out and uh, and enjoying it. And uh, you know, it's 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 all hands on deck right now. You know, when you have a when you have a pandemic going on and you we're living in a in a crazy time and a, a really unique time in history you you do what you do you do what you got to do if you ask those decks um and so thanks fairfield you this is called begging you please all right we'll see you next time <laughs> Thank you. 
So it seems now we've reached our ending along this road we've tread upon. Some days unfaithful, some days I shunned you. But here I am, don't it look at how I've grown. To take some time with matters at hand. Learn to read between the lights. Keep moving boy, don't forget about this. I beg you, please. I beg you, please. Begging you. I beg you, please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you, please, from the first string fingers album, Strung Up. I'm begging you, please, to stay safe, to stay healthy, to stay informed, to be good to each other, and to keep on rocking in the free world. Happy birthday to Neil Young. It's his 75th birthday. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Thank you so much for having me, Lindsay and Fairfield U. We appreciate it. We will see you guys soon.